Stable Diffusion's new extension, Control Net, gives you complete control over composition. So you can put your characters in exact positions. I'm going to show you how to use this new evolution in Stable Diffusion. Step one, come to the link in the description below and make sure to click on open with Google Collaboratory. You can save a copy in your own drive. I believe this makes it more stable by going to save a copy in drive. From here, the first step is to select the model that we want to run from Stable Diffusion. I suggest using anything V3. And to activate this, all we have to do is remove the hashtag at the start of the four lines of code underneath the model we want to use. So remove the hashtag from curl and MV. Next up, we come to the top left hand corner and we click on the play button to run the cell. Once you've got the two links appear at the bottom of the code, which say running on local URL and running on public URL, you're ready to roll. And you can go ahead and click on run on public URL. This will open Stable Diffusion in a new window with ControlNet installed. Now we've got ControlNet loaded, let's give you a better understanding of what it is and what it does. ControlNet includes a set of pre-trained models that provide better control over the image to image process. These include models for edge or line detection, boundary detection, depth information, sketch processing, and human pose or semantic map detection. This means that ControlNet has a series of models that are specifically trained for the image to image mode in Stable Diffusion. So it can tell what the boundary of a subject is, how much depth there is inside of an image, meaning how much distance there is from the foreground to the background, and understanding how objects relate in a three-dimensional space inside of a scene. Beyond that, it has a model specifically for human poses, as well as interpreting sketches drawn by hand. Here's an example of a hot air balloon sketch being rendered, and the same with a dog. This is using the scribble mode, and you can see again, a basic turtle has been turned into a fine aesthetic masterpiece. There is also an architectural mode for building design. And here is the human pose model where you can input a pose and get characters in exactly the same position. First thing to do is come to the image to image mode, scroll down to the control net panel, open it up, insert an image here. I'll be using my lovely face and we can then enable control net using the checkbox below. Select the model we want to use. There are various models here, including depth for looking at the relationship between 3D objects in a space, open pose for human positioning and scribble, which is for artistic sketches. Select the corresponding model, scroll back up, add in the same image to the image to image and type in your text prompt. Go ahead and generate. Now you'll get two images out. The first one will be involving your new text prompt. And the second one is a map that's been generated by the Canny Net so that the algorithm can understand how the image works in more detail. This is what gives us greater control over our images. Now we can go ahead and update the prompt. I'm gonna add glasses. And you can see this time I've got glasses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out this one on the best Stable Diffusion negative prompts and stick around for more on AI art. I'm Samson Falls. This is Delightful Design and I hope you have a delightful day.